to another Santos Youth Ministry weekday morning prayer. My name is Ruth and today marks the beginning of Reconciliation Week for Australia, which is a really important week. I'm so glad that um, we get to spend this time in prayer, um, acknowledging this very, very important week. Um, on the 27th of May uh, in 1967, a referendum was held, I'm sure many of you are aware of this, but a referendum was held where Australia voted yes to count Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples in the census. Um, 1967, it's not even that long ago. I mean, it's getting further, further away the longer we go on, obviously. But it wasn't that long ago that we didn't count them. Um, uh, the recognition of inequalities um, was a really important step, uh, but it also gave power to the Australian government to address these inequalities, because before that it was the states that were making the decision. So it meant that the Australian government could address the inequalities and really move forward. And Reconciliation Week is very much about acknowledging that some of this has been done really well and some of it has not been done well, um, and we've got a long way to go. Um, so, this morning I, f I feel that it's um, really, really important to pray. Um, in particular, we are going to be praying um, an acknowledgement of country. So, this is from um, Saint Vincent, the St. Vincent de Paul Society. I be believe it's from the New South Wales um, website in particular. I'll share the link because um, it was a beautiful prayer that I found and I thought that it was something worth sharing. So, we begin... Um, as we are all in this together as the theme for um, Reconciliation Week, um, about strengthening relationships for the benefit of all Australians, in particular um, our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander friends. But we begin with the Son of the Cross. So in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, we invoke your blessing on this country and on us, as we gather virtually today. We acknowledge the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander elders of this place and all the places that we are on, both past, present and emerging, and the continued cultural and spiritual connection to the lands and the waters. We also acknowledge that our forebearers came into this sacred space, changing forever an older way of life. Bless our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander brothers and sisters, and bless us. Help us to join our hands and hearts together. Help us to heal one another and the land, so that our lives may flow with harmony, and that we may live with love and deep respect. Amen. So in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So thank you once again for um, joining me for morning prayer. Um, I hope that you have a really, really lovely day. And if you'd like to spend some time journaling, um, I am going to be journaling on the acknowledgement of country and what that actually means. Um, I feel that this uh, Reconciliation Week and, and even the acknowledgement of country and the prayer links in very strongly with the calendar of the church that we've had recently last week was Laudate Sea Week, Care for Our Common Home. Um, and the Indigenous connection, the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander connection with land and water and as caretakers, not as owners, um, fits in so beautifully with our own, uh, with our church teachings. So it is not a separate thing. It is, uh, they work together so beautifully. So following on from that and then leading on to Pentecost on the weekend, um, that prayer of the prayer of the Holy Spirit, that understanding that um, our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander uh, peoples have of what spirit means and what the spirit is, is beautiful. Go and have a look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I feel that it fits really nicely in with where we've been and where we're going next. So for the remainder of the week um, and heading into next week, we will be praying uh, continuing on our theme 
of uh, love of the environment, care of the environment, but also of this reconciliation um, between all Australians. So I hope that you can join us um, as we go forward in the next week or so. Um, have a lovely day. Get outside. Um, hopefully it'll be nice enough. I think it's a bit cold, but hopefully it's nice enough to get outside and enjoy some, um, some of our beautiful, beautiful nature out there. Have a great day and I will see you again tomorrow morning. Bye. Bye.